Welcome back, Bougie Beauty Gang Gang. We are back yet again with another YouTube video for my beauties out there. Regardless, your man, woman, whatever. Like, we are beautiful. Um, it's just like something that's like just, I don't know. I just want to come and talk to you guys because like, I've been running all night. I woke up a little earlier and... I just been up and I cannot sleep right now. It is 5.23 in the morning and I just cannot sleep. I woke up a couple of hours ago, maybe two or something like that, but I don't know. But um, I just wanted to share a dream, a couple of dreams with you guys. Um, and in this dream, I'm just going to get straight to the point because I hate when I see videos and people want to be like, oh, da -da -da this, da -da -da -da, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, I'd be like, oh my gosh, get to the point. Like, let me just fast forward and just get to the point where it seems like people are talking. But, um, yeah, so, like, um, I just want to talk about um, my spiritual growth. And that is in, like, a, just with Yahshua or some people call it Jesus, but true name, Yahshua and Yahweh, God. Um and I had this dream and it's like I can sort of remember it but I can't remember but all I remember it most of the dream is I looked down at my hands and my hands were covered with blood just like blood just dripping all over my hands and then for the longest time like that dream it just like it just um behooved me and then um it finally came to me like what came to me like in the spirit is is that I mean like okay for one I am not perfect by any means I am not a prophetess at least I don't know that <laughs> yet I am not a preacher I am not none of that but all I could tell you guys is just about the way that I feel. And um, basically in this dream, for most part I can remember is just like the thing that stands out to most of me is I look to my hand and blood is just dripping from my hands. But it's not my blood. And I'm just thinking like where does this blood come from and it just scares me so much. But um, later on, the spirit showed me that um, that God was trying to tell me that, see, we all come down here on contracts, if you may say, because whenever the moment that you are born, you're a breathing, living being, but you are dying at the same time. And we all come here for a reason no person not not one person that lives and breathe is just here because from from what i believe it's just here because like just to be here um i feel like we are, are all here for um a reason and i also feel like everything that happens in your life is not by coincidence and where you are in your life, um, regardless if you like it or not, um, regardless if you want it to be better or you want this for your life and this for your future and this for your kids or whatever the case may be, um, you're in the right place. See, a lot of times we like to um, compare ourselves to other people in um, society and social media and um, what we see from other people like you look at this person you be like oh my goodness like seem like they live in their best life like um why why am I not there yet I know I'm a good person like I don't deserve that like like um but you can't compare yourself in your own journey to the next person and I had to learn that um 
the hard way. You know, like, um, you just cannot do that because we are all here. Um, if you think about it, you get in your vehicle, you start your car, you get on the highway. It could be a four-way highway, five-way highway, whatever the case may be. And some cars are going slow. Some are going fast and speeding. Um, some are going to the speed limit. Um, and just think about that about life like we are all, all here on our own journey and um, moving at the rate that we are supposed to be moving at um, sometimes you have to you know regardless of whatever speed that you're going on the highway of life sometimes you have to sit back and you know just take, take a break from um, re, um, this world that the media puts out to you, this world that social media tells you to be, this world, period. And um, Yahshua's got word, good word. He tells, you, tells us to keep yourself unspotted from the world. And you have to go at your own pace. See, if you're going, if you're too busy, watching somebody else and and trying to go at the pace that they going you gonna lose yourself and um you're gonna feel so empty and um sad within and uh you're just not gonna understand so what i learned to do is sometimes you have to take the small things out of life and maybe somebody said something nice to you and it just brighten up your day. Or um, maybe somebody maybe opened the door for you. Or maybe somebody just like just gave you an inkling of goodness or an inkling of hope. Or maybe somebody reminded you of who you are, but you forgot. Maybe someone... Um, just anything, bougie beauties, <laughs> because we are all beautiful. <coughs> we are all chosen. We are all celebrities <laughs> in our own uh, divine way. There is no person better than the next person. A lot of time here in this society, we like to, um, or the world tells you to look up to these celebrities or these um public fee figures or but no see within you already have the within you is the kingdom and you already have the the answers within you and as long as you look within yourself and you go by the beat of your own drum and your own moral compass and um the things that you are that you know true and and um there to you is right you go by that and you stand by that and don't let nobody tell you different but okay i'm rambling but back to the dream i'm gonna share two dreams with you the first one that i'm telling with you guys i really can't remember but all i know was blood on my hands and um <coughs> What I got from that dream is what God was saying to me is that he was saying, my daughter, my child, see me and see there, there goes the enemy within my head. You know, like in the cartoons, you have the good angel, you have the bad angel. <coughs> and sometimes a lot of times it seems like the bad angel is always speaking like Oh, you're not good enough. You're not this. You're not that. You will never be worthy. Um, this. But then the good angel is like, don't listen to that. Change your thoughts. Change them into positive. You were always worthy. God loves you so much. He loves you so much that he knows the number of the hairs on your head. God loves you so much that he puts you above the angels in the sky. God said that he created you in his likeness, in his image. Do not listen to that. 
But then it's like, oh, you know, it's like just always like um, re regardless if it's something, it's not physical because it's something that you can't see or touch, but it's within. So we got to work on our kingdoms within you guys. Um, but back to what I was saying, it was blood on my hand in, in my dream. And what the spirit came to show me is that. It was blood on my hands of other people. See, like I say, we all come down here on contracts and it's all something that we are all here destined to do. It's all, you know what I'm saying? We are all, we are um, God's children. God's beloved. We are God's bride, right? And it's something that we are here to do. It's many people that we are all here to touch to motivate, to sow a seed, to speak the truth, treat this, to speak the word of God to them. And God says, um, if you keep on ignoring me, you you wanna you wanna run from me, but I'm always here with you. Whenever you cannot walk, I carry you. Whenever you cannot talk, I speak for you. And that, like, God, he just loves us so much. And Yahweh, he loves us so much. And um, so basically, I feel like from what my interpretation of that dream was and what the Spirit gave me is that we all come here on a contract and it's all something that we have to do. And we all are here to do God's work and, and to help him. Because, like, God, he's, like, he's powerful, right? He creates reality. He creates time. He creates everything. He creates what you see. He creates the breath and um, the the breath that you take within. He creates all of that. So he is so powerful. He is all knowing. He is Almighty God. And if like you just feel like you've been running away for God and like um God you know you know God's been knocking at the door like I know he's been knocking at the door for me but it's a part of me that like you know cuz I'm not perfect but I'm just like I'm not saying first off I'm not telling you guys that I'm perfect cuz I'm not at all I fall short only the glory and the grace of God protects me and holds me underneath his wings and 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 um keeps me protected. I'm not saying by any means that I am perfect or anything like that, but what I'm saying is when I looked at my hands in that dream, I knew it was something that I had to do. I knew that it was a message that I gotta get out to somebody, anybody that listened. No, I don't have a big following here on YouTube on this platform. And maybe that may not be the case for me. But regardless, for the people that I do have, um, for the people that this may touch, I, I hope it helps you. Because at the end of the day, somebody else is depending on you. Just as well as, like, I have to put this, I just have to put this out for you guys because someone needs to hear this. You know, um, someone needs to hear that if you don't, the blood is on your hands. The blood will be on your hands because that's what you were here to do. You were here to um, touch somebody or, or, or speak life into somebody. You were here to do just that. And by you not doing that and by you running away, and um, by you just going by your own interpretation and, and your own um, knowledge. And yeah, it is selfish. Because, like, just think, like, um, it really is selfish. Because, like, um, how can you not? How can you not be um, a follower of Yahweh and Yahshua? which is God, Jesus Christ, whatever you want to call him, whatever. Um, how can you not 
and how can you not just just help somebody even if it's one person how can you not just sow one seed um how can you not do that because if you don't do it the blood is on your hand maybe you have family members um maybe you have friends maybe you have cousins or um even sometimes people that you even meet on the street bro like like people i learned that um a lot of time people that you meet on the street they're like more like they're more accepting than your family and that's sad but like it's just the truth you know like it's people that you meet that's on the street that like will accept you and love you and understand you more than your family could have ever understood you your whole life but what I'm saying is um, it is all something that we came down here to do. And it was to spread the good news about God and, and everything that he has to offer us. Man, God is so good. Um, I don't know if you guys see my testimony video and I'll post it at the end of this video, but... Um, yeah, I've like, like I've, I got to know God October twenty second, two thousand eleven. I call that my spiritual birthday because that's whenever I found God. God didn't find me because He was always there with me. He was always there. Um, but that's when I found God. And yeah, throughout the years, I slip away and and then I want to go my own way, like you know. Maybe I was good or I was good and I was, um, you know, walking the straight and narrow, good path. Maybe like a year or something like that. I tried and then, boom, the world took back a hold of me. The enemy took back a hold of me. Um, but can't nothing take a hold of you, though, because you're way stronger than the enemy. You're way stronger than the angels. Did you know that? Like, oh my goodness. Like, once like once people understand like that God, he made us in his image, that like he loves us so much that we are more powerful. And we don't even know it. We don't even know the power that we hold. We don't even know that. But you guys, I just maybe I just do a part two or something to this because like it's it's gonna get long but I just wanna let you guys know that like it's something that you have to do. It's something that I have to do. And I'm not trying to be the person that be like on here like oh you 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 need to do this. Oh the way that you're living your life is wrong because I fall short. I'm not no better than you. I put my shoes on the same way, I put my clothes on the same way. I'm just a woman, just as well.